Fighter Part 8 of the uh, Stuart S50 build. In this one we're doing the Conrod, uh, quite a simple little process, uh, just doing a taper on it using the, you'll see on the, with a little boring attachment that we're using the tail slot to give us the offset, and then just doing a bit on the, the rotary tail to give us the radius at the end, using a little uh, pin that we made. Uh, so we'll get on with that, and uh, like I say, if you'd like to subscribe and uh, like the channel, that will be fantastic. Any questions please put them down below, and we'll see you at the end of the video. First thing we've done the, uh, the bear stop for the Conrad, we just marked the centre line and the two points uh, that we're going to be drilling through for the big end and the little end. We also marked off the two points where we're going to be uh, turning the taper in between. So first thing we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll drill out now a uh, quarter inch. Uh, on the plan it does say three sixteenths but I've made a little bush, a little brass bush uh, to go on the crank pin. So I'm reading mine out to, to quarter inch diameter to fit this. So as always start off with your, your centre drill and then you will work up in a couple of steps. So that's 5mm uh, going through. A bit of lubricant as well because we want to mild steel. And then a 6mm drill next, uh, this, which I find the perfect size when we're even out to quarter inch. And the quarter emer going through, and also what we'll do while it's set up on this uh, setting. I uh, just should do this on camera, but we uh, run an M mil. It says seven sixty fours, uh, but I use a seven mil. Uh, it's close as one we had, and this will just give you the recess for the head of the little crank pin. And what we'll also do is we'll drill the the small end, the little end, and that'll be reamed out to three thirty twos. So you can see the, uh, the small end has been done and you can see there the recess of 7mm. That goes down about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, both ends have been centre drilled and then we can put between centres and uh, turn the taper. This is a little old made lathe dog. You can use a lathe dog or simply that um, piece of aluminium all drilled through, bolt tapped into it and that will just pick up the on the drive pin and you recognise the, the little space plate from a uh, previous video. Uh, what I've used here is a, a boring tool that we just offset. Uh, first of all we, t we turned a, a 12mm piece of bar and we just offset it and it's the amount, the, the difference. Um, it's 3 sixteenths at one end and quarter inch at the other end. Uh, so you've got a difference of a sixteenth. I'm just showing here the gap. So it's half that, so then when you turn it, you'll actually get your taper because it's just offset that amount for the length of the bar. All I'd simply would just put a, uh, like a feeler gauge in, touch at this end and feel the gauge of the other. So you can see the step turning, 
test and at this end and nothing other because it's obviously the end where the most material is going to be removed. I always put a drop of oil where you can't quite see it in the video, just on your dead centre end where the boring bar is. And just put a little drop of oil there to help it move. So it's coming down a bit nearer to size now. It doesn't have to be exactly three sixteenths and a quarter, just somewhere near. This was just a couple of thou off I think. just put a little radius on that point there just shows it on the plan, just makes it look a little bit neater just where around nose till and the same tool just swung around can do both ends There it is, and what we're going to do now, we're just going to take the end down a little bit so there's a bit less machine off the end to put the radius on. Let's get rid of the, the end, uh, the centre marks. Start with the, I'm going to start with the big end, then do the little end, we'll do it on the rosary table. So the set up now with the, using the three jaw chuck. Turn this little pin down, so it's a piece of aluminium, a little step on it there. Just fits in, and that gives us a 3 8 radius. Sorry, a 3 16 radius, which will give us a 3 8 diameter at the end. Just shredded it so the note goes on. I've also put a little washer in there that'll help protect the jaws and the vise. You can actually use the nut to, to clamp into the the vice as well. So we're now going to soft set it. So that edge is then on the outside edge, just moving it to the opposite left as you look at it. Just like that, so now we know that's when we turn the rosary table that'll give us our, our radius. I'm also going to put a little step so that I want to use the cigarette paper, but I just to, obviously just to bring the, the tool down. So once you know that's gone tight, you're just touching the, the workpiece and we can zero. I'm just going to take a little bit, you'll see it in a second, uh, just to leave us probably just a couple of thou, maybe five thou, just a little boss when it's running on the crank web, it'll just, just run against that instead of the hole. The old big end. So this complete, turn it right around, like I said, to a depth of probably about five though. Now we're going to do the end, we've done that little recess, so then we're going to carry on down. Um, so this gives us the, the radius at the end, the 3 sixteenths. So it's just a case of turn it round, 
cut this out, cut, turn it back again, cut this out, cut and just keep working your way through. It gives a lovely finish to the end, at the big end of the, the conrod. You can also file these um, in the vice a couple of buttons out of the side as a, as a filing guide if you wanted to, if you haven't got this facility. Um, you can, I actually did this on the, the, uh, the little end actually, I was going to do it the same way uh, but I decided to do something a little bit different to try it and I actually just made a couple of little pins, little buttons and just filed it and it gives a good finish. See there, nice, nice finish, nice radius at the end. And I say we just touch just into the the washer so it protects the jaws. There it is, and you can just see the the nice little colour that we just left there. So that's just, it just runs round on the crank web on that instead of actually the whole face. And the other end, uh, the little end, I'm going to have a file that down, but also that's been uh, reduced down to 3 sixteenths thick, so that'll fit into the, the, the cross head. And there she is, all finished up. Um, I say we're nicely finished. Well, there's still a bit of finishing to do on all the parts yet, but we can do them later. Um, but the main job is just getting this built up and make sure all the parts fit. There's no point. Uh, finishing a part of polishing it and then having to do some work and putting it, you know, damaging the, the finish. So we'll get them somewhere near and then do the final finish later. Um, so that's it. There you can see we just filed the, the, the little end uh, instead of doing it with the, the milling machine. But the choice is yours. You can either do exactly the same process as you do with the big end, or I say I'll, do a, I'll use a file. But like I said that's took it down to uh, it's, it's a 3 16 wide, so it'll fit in the cross head, and the radius is uh, probably something like about. Um, an eighth of an inch, something like that radius, so it'll be nice, nice fit into that cross head. And the thing is, we can make the, the cross head now fit that part. There we go, job done. That's the comrade finished. I said just the use of the, uh, the little boring attachment there uh, to give us the, the offset uh, to, to turn the parallel. You can even do this if you if you if you want to on your you know, your top slide on your your lathe if it's long enough. You could use that. Uh, but I just showed this for for people. If the, the top slide and going to travel on it, uh, and then we'll say we just did the, the nice radius uh, on the big end using the pin in the rotary table. You can do exactly the same for the little end, but I actually did it uh, in the vice to be honest with you, just with a hand file uh, to work, work way down to a nice fine one. And that's just a, another option, another way of, of doing it. I just thought I'd do that just to just for something a bit different to do. So there we go, that's that done. Uh, I think the next one uh, possibly be the, the cross head and the slide rails. So we'll see you in the next video. Like I say, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to the channel and any tips or any questions, please them down below. And until then, YouTubers, it'll be right.